Welcome back, pure structured traders, for another market analysis for the London session and potentially into the U.S. session. Today is May 17, 2021 here in Hawaii and will be May 18, 2021 in London. Today we'll be going over S&P 500 gold and also oil give you guys some of the levels we'll be looking at for those who like these videos please go ahead and smash the, that like button for those who are not subscribed to the channel yet please go ahead and subscribe again if you guys have any questions feel free to pop them in here on youtube would love to get back to you guys but with that said let's go ahead and get into it so for s p 500 we do see some resistance coming in right at around 41 76 75 want to see if the market gets itself right back up to that level of resistance and then from there maybe get a nice rejection try to pull it back down We've got a little bit of a mid level here 57 4157 and some main support coming right in this area of 413825 so we'll see what the market gives us again it could bounce right off these 57s head right back up this is going to be our first target mid target and then try to push down below to get that support now for the long opportunities either you're going to look for that right off of those support levels of either 57 as a minor level 3825 maybe a nice little rotational movement here a couple bounces and then head back up or if you want to continue the long in the trend you would look for the support right at this area up top and then look for a continuational move so really not too difficult we do got some support coming in right around those 41 24 75s and then below that i got another level of support at 41 18 25. let's go ahead and take a look at a smaller chart here on s p so as we get a little bit closer into this chart you can see that we are climbing to the upside and we should try to target that level of about 41 76 75. now there could be some little minor levels you could try to play off with which is going to be somewhere right around this 6525 or maybe even the 6650s that's going to be your minor leveled zone that very micro level that could be a, a support that you could get to the continue the upside move if you don't like that area then you want to see the market try to pull a little bit deeper down to maybe about 50 seven to about 60 as that support to hold that level if not again you can see same thing underneath 51 I mean 4157 next level 413825 as support and then below that 2475 and then 18 so 4118 let's go ahead and take a look here at gold as well for you guys so you guys can see what's going on with gold so gold we did have a nice move up we passed our ma our measured uh move level this morning we got right to it and then continued on through it very nice movement couple opportunities we had in the trade room for longs looked very nice and uh, traded very well so looking for opportunities here on gold again we have major levels above 1902.8 and then 1913.8 as some top levels but right now what are we looking for we're looking to see if these 1868.5s hold the support now if it does we could see a continuation however if it gets underneath this level you could see the market try to pull down a little bit deeper now there is some in between levels, but i'm actually probably going to be looking for more of the level down here at 1852.9 that's going to be where i'm looking for my first support if we just blow right through that next support comes in at 43.8 and then 39.5 so we're really going to have to see where the market decides to give us that support but either here get the bounce here going to look for those buyers to come in get that bounce or right off this level 1852.8 and get that bounce to the upside now for a continuational trend move you're going to either look for that support right at those 68.5s as the minor level and the continued move to the upside um, if not again you could look for the short to come down or look for the longs off the support levels so those are a couple opportunities we could have there on gold let's take a look at a smaller chart here on gold for you guys so again you can see right off this uh a tick we got up here there is a support that is coming in right now right off of these 68.5s again we want to see it hold on top a little bit underneath so maybe comes back rotates and then tries to continue up from there underneath those 68.5s we're going to look for that rejection for resistance and a continuation lower from that point on uh so again we could see some levels in between could see these um, actually could see some very micro levels in between this 64 could see somewhere around these 60 to 61s as support 
Uh, but again, I like that level of 52.9. So 1852.9 is going to be more of an area of interest for me as the market tries to pull back into that level, maybe catch the support there. But if we get underneath, that probably will be my first opportunity for a continued or not a continued, but a momentum shift and a short back down to the downside. Uh, let's take a look at oil for you all. Give you guys some levels on oil as well. So oil, nice movement to the upside. We did have a little bit of a pull down into support right off the 6483s. And then we just kept grinding to the upside from there. Found some support right around the 6585s and continued higher right off our next level of 6622. Uh, and then we're now continuing into our 6655. This is where we may end up finding some resistance. So we do want to see if the market can hold that level. Now if we're going to get that resistance, we're going to look for something like this. Get that rejection coming off and then try to pull it back down into support of 6622. If we get below that level... We're going to look out for some other levels, maybe 66, a better level for me, 65, 85 as that support, and maybe look for a continuation up from there. So those are the opportunities. Again, either short 66, 55, if you want the long continuation, got to get above this, break it, and continue to move up from there. If not, you're going to get that rejection, continue to move back down from that area into the support levels. Let's take a look at a smaller chart here, also on gold. I mean on oil, so that way you guys know what we're looking at on the smaller chart. Um, so again, kind of right up against our resistance level as we come towards this area. I'm going to put this, mark this here as red. And you can see that's kind of where we're currently at. And we're looking to see if we get that rejection. Now if we get that rejection coming off that level, uh, don't be afraid. You can look for that short to come back down, 66.22. And then underneath this, you want to see that price reject again and then continue even lower so a couple opportunities again support for me 6585 if we don't catch it here at the 6622 and below those levels you can see next support 6546 and then so on and so forth bigger level 6452 on the downside so we'll see what the market gives us during the london session for those that are going to be or those that are with peer structure trading, we will be in the room for the London session. Hopefully get some opportunities either off of S&P, gold, or oil, whatever gives us the trade opportunities to be trading. Other than that, though, guys, that is it for the London market analysis. And again, those levels potentially can move into the U.S. session. If you guys did like these videos, please go ahead and smash that like button. For those who are not subscribed to the channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe. Again, any questions you guys got, feel free to pop them in here on YouTube. We would love to get back to you guys. Other than that, guys, you guys continue to trade well. Have a great night. Bye.